Hi right, guys, it's Danny from Inglorious Fishing. It's day two of the coronavirus lockdown and we're going fishing for some bream and some pot bait, baby, like scad and stuff like that. So stay tuned. I'm gonna, I've got the boat warming up and we're going to start making our way out. It's Inglorious. I hope you enjoy it, guys. Well, guys, the good old Evan roof there, purring as usual. Lovely morning. It don't look that too windy out there. It don't look too windy out there. So let's start getting out there, baby. What a day. And we're off on this big tide, baby. Big nine meter. Let's get out there and start fishing. Guys, I've arrived to my bream mark. I'm sorry about any of the wind noise, but we're about half a mile, about, about a mile off of Guernsey, off of Guernsey's east coast. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to start getting these feathers down. What we're going to be using today is scallop frills on feathers. Now, these are an absolute killer for bream. You're going to see this. Hopefully, we'll get a few once I've said this. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. See if we can get you a few fish. Lockdown, baby. So, guys, first drops down. Oh, fish on already. Yeah, fish on, guys. Yeah, baby, see? All I'm doing today, guys, is collecting a load of pot bait for me and Drucy. Uh, we need loads, so we need some for the forthcoming season. So whether it's scad or mackerel, it's, unless we get a decent bream, uh, scad, mackerel, bream, it's going to be going into the bait pot. there. Chop that one back, he's a bit too small. We should still get him. That wind is starting to pick up now guys, it's not a nice wind, it's an easterly, northeast. Uh, I didn't even think I was going to be able to go fishing today, but I walked out the front door and it was absolutely fantastic. So I just got out the shower, I quickly put my fishing clothes on and we we're out of there. You know, that's the way to do it. Go fishing. Fish off. Fish on guys, it's a better fish, it's going to be a bream, it's going to be a nice bream guys, I can sense it already, it's going to be a nice one, hopefully you don't come off, that's the only problem with using feathers, you get a big bream, it can snap the feathers, it's happened multiple, whoa, it's happened multiple times, let's have a look what this is. I reckon this should be a good bream. Well, ah, decent. Oh, that'd be why we got a couple of. The bottom one's a lovely bream. Check that out, guys. That's the sort of bream you want. First bream there. Let's give you a glimpse of them. We get some stonking black bream around here, guys. That's the first bream there. That's nothing. You want to see his brother. Chap. Look at that guys. Perfect hook up. Look at that for a bream. That's a lovely bream. 
As I say, I just use feathers and I just put scallop frills on them. They absolutely love it. Look at that for a stonker. That's a lovely bream, guys. Lovely black bream. He's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll go back up for another drift. Hopefully you get a few more. So guys, I didn't go for another drift. I've just put my line back down because there seems to be a few markings. So, just going to see what we can pick up. Now, fish on, guys. Yeah, I got him. That wind's starting to hell now. You won't be able to hear it in the coddy, probably. It's certainly starting to freshen up. Even if we get an hour's fishing, guys, at least we got an hour's fishing for you lot. That's stuck in on the lockdown that ain't allowed to fish. But we are, baby, we're allowed to fish. And love a little breamy there. Beautiful little fish. Right, let's go back up there and we'll get onto the big part, onto the big bream, baby. Go back up for another. Another drift though, whiff though, baby. We want some more big bream like that last one. That's an absolute stonker. That won't be getting used for pot bait, that's for sure. The old man likes big bream, so. Alright, we're on the bottom, guys. Fish off. Don't know what it is. Feels a bit breamy. It's not a big one if it is. Get her up. Have a little green, guys. He's too small to keep. Back he goes. Straight back down there. Hopefully you get stunker again. Where I'm fishing guys, I caught my 688 cooches literally about 500 meters that way. And that was on mackerel. 688 that cooches was. Six pound eight, it was massive. Cooches bream. Fish on guys. Yep, fish on. Bream again. Tell by the way that they go, guys. You can always tell a black bream. Always. You can tell when you've got cooches on as well. Because absolutely bananas. Some big cooches up here. Five, seven, six, eight, eight. Six, eight, eight's the biggest. Oh, come on, baby. You should be here soon. Come on, a little bit lighter now. Still there, though. Not bad little green, that. Not bad little green at all, guys. Check him out. There he is. So he'll be going in the pocket. We'll be going up for another drift. Oh, actually, there we go. We'll be staying here. There's loads of fish down there. There's absolutely loads of them. Come on, get out. The sound is absolutely full of markings, guys. It's absolutely full. Right at the bottom, there's probably black bream or scad or stuff like that. Hopefully we can dwindle out the blacks. Maybe even a cooches. Bit early for a cooches though. Bit early. 
Yeah, push it off. I'll just wait and then for him to get right on. Yeah, push it off. Problem is you can pre, you know, you can strike too early, especially with the bream. You want to make sure that they go bang, 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 and the rods go mental. That way you know that they're on. Well, I'm glad I got the coddy because there'd be loads of wind noise at the moment. Be absolutely loads of it. You won't hear it, it's howling out here. Yeah? But you might hear it, I'm not sure. And it's another bream, guys. A beautiful little bream that goes straight in the pot. Anyway, stay tuned, we'll go back up. So guys, back down for another drop. Hopefully you get a nice bream again. Did I get it? Yeah, I've got him, guys. Thought I didn't get him then. I don't know what it is, black or a scad. Small black, probably. Go for that. Woo! There's loads of them, so we're up and down, up and down like a yo yo, guys. But I hope you like it. Let's go for some more bream. Guys, back for another one. What we we'll do is let it sit there. We'll just sit here and watch. Wait for the rod to go mental. There we go guys, the rod's going. Fish off. Got him that time guys. This be a black bream for sure. Yeah, this be a black. This will be a black. Come on, baby, come to Papa. That's a diddy little black bream. That's not worth keeping, guys. And he fell up. Get rid of him. Go straight back down. Hopefully, we can get a big one. What we want. Big bream. My seat leaks. You get a new seat, guys. Nothing worse than a wet butt. Right, anyway, let's see what this does. Yep. Go get him. I got him. Yeah, I got him. Not big one again. Definitely got him though. It's a bit bigger. It'll do for the pot, mate. Oh, all black. So guys, just making my way back down again. Well guys, black bream on. It's a decent one. Or unless there's a couple, but this feels like a decent bream. Not the biggest bit, it should be alright. Bit of weight there. Like I say, unless it's a couple. Which you do get when you're fishing with the feathers. Quite often you get a double hook up or a triple hook up. Let's have a look what he looks like. 
Hopefully, it's a nice bream by the feel of it. By the way he's pulling, shouldn't be bad bream. There's a couple, but the bottom one's a beauty. There we are, guys. Check that out. Check that bottom one. Give you a quick glimpse of them. That's number one, guys. That's the first bream. Lovely little bream. That one's a better bream, guys. Check the blue band across the nose. Looks fantastic. That's a lovely black bream. Anyway, let's get back down there for some more. Guys, we're going back down. There's absolutely loads of markings on the bottom. So let's hope we can hook into some of them. On the bottom now. Fish hook. Yeah, fish hook. Oh, this one's better. Ah! Oh. oh yeah, hopefully this is just one. This be a good bream, this guys. So it could be a few small ones. I'm not sure. I've got the net here if I ever need it, if it's a big one. Oh, come on. Here he comes. Another nice black bream, guys. Check that out. It's another beauty of a black bream. You get some big boys around here. They're all a couple of pounds, that's for sure. Oh guys, another perfect representation of a black bream. They're absolutely a fantastic looking fish. I absolutely, whoop, I absolutely love them. They're a fantastic fish, check that out. Anyway, let's go get some more. He loves flipping. Let's go get some more. We're back down to the bottom, guys. Oh, look at that, straight away. Off. Straight away. Whoa, what's Jesus? Something may have jumped on here, guys. I'm not sure. This is going well. May have had a mackerel jump on. I'm not sure. Oh, this is fighting well. Oh, they're coming thick and fast now, guys. Black bream, they absolutely love scallop frills. They always fall victim to it. Beautiful looking fish. Let's get some more bait on and go for another drop. Right, we're on another drop, guys. Black again, that's for sure. You can always tell by the fight of what the fish is, you know. Oh, that's why we got two guys. Double hook up, black breed. Absolutely loads of black bream up here, guys. Loads of them. The 
There's another. Beautiful. Good for another. Yeah. Did I get him? No, I missed him. I had something playing with it then. Put it back down. Yeah, there we are. Then I got him, guys. No, I didn't. I missed him again. I missed him again. Now I've got him on. It's not a big fish, whatever it is. It doesn't feel big anyway. Another black there, guys. Great fun catching these fish because you're always on them, you know. You're always on them. And we're back up yet again, guys. Let's get these big Brimos. Do a load of pot bait. So, we're on the bottom. How long is it going to take? Fish on! Fish on baby! In glorious fishing! We love it! On lockdown! Catch and fish! We absolutely love it! Catching some lovely Black green. You can't beat it. And another baby. We're slaying the black green. We're absolutely slaying them. Uh, at least we're out fishing, guys. You know, we could just be doing nothing. Bollocks to that. Sitting at home doing nothing. Nah, you're all right. Coronavirus, my ass. Oh, that was a big boy. Yeah, they're just playing with me at the moment, guys. Just drop that down and wait till that goes right over. Fish on, guys. We has another. Not a very big one. Oh, fighting a bit though. Give me some nasty head pulls. Look at that. Give me some big head pulls. Oh, it's a nice one. Another nice little bream. The beauty. Absolute beauty. Look, lovely black bream. They're absolutely fantastic. We'll have to go up for another drift, guys. We've swung to the side of it now. So guys, we're going down again. I'm not going to stay much longer out in this. The wind's starting to pick up now. It's absolutely howling. So, so it's a cold wind. We've got loads of markings on the bottom. So I'm open. We're going to hook it straight into some fish. Fish on. We got him. Probably only a black, small black. 
Loads of markings, absolutely the bottom's just covered with fish. That wind is howling. Oh, I've got a scad, guys. Look at that, lovely big scad. Horse mackerel, scad. Prime pop, eh? We'll have that all day long. Definitely over a pound, that scad. Definitely over a pound. Big old scad, I'll show you that in a minute. That's a big scad. You get some monsters up here as well, guys, scad. You get some absolute stonkers. Right, we're on the bottom. See how long it takes. Fish up. <laughs> Don't take long at all, guys. Not here. Oh, this is better. This I've got a few on. Good bend in the rod here, guys. Look. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Lovely bend in the rod. Absolutely fantastic. I love this. Oh, I might not be getting paid, but at least I'm fishing. is this? A couple? Yeah, a couple. Another couple of blacks there, guys. One. Number two. Just love scallop frills, don't they? Three. They absolutely love scallop frills. gonna go down oh look there's loads of fish let's just keep going down guys we're on fish the whole bottom is just marking it's absolutely fantastic there's fish 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 i'll show you that scad in a minute it's absolutely huge though we do get bigger reach to the bottom now right see how long it takes ready there's loads of markings Fish on. <laughs> yeah, boy. A bit of copper on again, I'm not sure. Oh, this is fighting really well, guys. There's a bend in this rod, I tell you. What the hell? This is a nice bream, giving me lots of head bangs. Unless there's a copper one. He's giving me loads of headbangs, guys. Absolute. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Don't need the one as well. That's a nice one. It's another beauty. There is some beauties up here at the moment. Check that out. That's a fine black bream. Absolutely fine prime fish. Look at the dorsal fin on it. And look at the tail. Just pure power. Well, we got markings left, right, and centre, guys. I'm not even going to move. We'll just sit here. Sit here, and once we don't get no more fish, we're heading. We've got a bucket full of bream anyway, so that's good. It's pot bait. Right, we're on the bottom again. Ready? Fish on. There's just loads of fish down there, guys. Yes. Good fight. Just loads of bream, scad, mackerel, you name it. Bloody hell. The sound is just full of markings. You can't beat that. God, this is giving off a good fight. Decent black bream here, guys. They're all a pound and a half, two pound fish. That's a pound and a half all day long. Lovely black. 
Like I say, guys, I'll just keep going, going to keep going down. The markings are starting to fade off now, though, to be honest. Let's see if we can hook into one more. Be nice. Oh. Oh, our coronavirus, guys. I'm sorry that it's stopping all you lot fishing, but it's not stopping me fishing. I can guarantee you that. You're going to catch it more if you just go to the shop. You've got more chance of catching it going to the shop than being out on your own boat fishing. We come off of a fish. Might have came off the fish now, guys. I'm not sure. Oh, we'll leave it. See if something decides to go for it. Just give you a show of that scad, guys. Fucking huge. Big old scad that guys. You want to watch these fins on these fish guys because they absolutely spike you like nothing. So into the pot he goes. Was that a fish then? I don't think it was. Bugger it, guys, we'll do one more drift. So guys, we came back down for another drift. There's absolutely loads of markings on the bottom. So. that one fish on guys this bottom bream that is an absolute beast of a fish got a hook in me right, let's get this one off first right guys he's the smaller of the black bream check the size of that out that's a big black bream, that. Well, check this one out. Look at the size of 
size of that beast. He's an absolute stonker of a fish. He's trying to get away, guys. Beautiful. That's what we came up for. These big boggers. Feathers and scallop frills, guys. You can't beat it for green. You can't beat it. Right again, we're drifting quite quick now. I don't know if you've got wind noise on you now. Right there. Go up for another one, bugger it. So guys, up for another drift. Hopefully we can smash into some of those fucking big black bream again. Hopefully. Well guys, we're on the bottom. Hopefully, don't take that long. Guys, there's loads of markings again as usual. We should hook into a black bream straight away. Should do. Here we go guys. Bell arms over. Missed it. Give him a little bit more line, I just missed that one. So slacken the line off because Bream love that. Fish off. Yeah, it's not a bad one either. Not a bad one at all. Guys, this is a decent fish. Should be alright, light, you know. Not massive, massive, but well, I don't know. Be a good black bream, that's for sure. Putting up a scrap. Yes. Another black bream, guys. Oh, that was right. He was fell hooked straight in the top of the head. Get some more bait on this hook. Get some more. So, guys, these, this is going to be my definite last drift because this wind's starting to absolutely howl now. It's nice to get out for an hour though and catch some black bream, that's for sure. Maybe we can get a couple more. into him. Give him plenty of line, they love a slack line. And then once that line tightens up, you should feel a fish. Like that. Yeah, fish on guys. This is heavy. Not 
kind of lighting up a bit now as it's coming up. Still heavy, still nice. Oh, I think it's a nice one, unless there's a couple. Scad, little scatteroos, perfect for pot bait. Oh, bugger, let's go for one more. So, guys, it's starting to get a bit rough now. It's time to start making our way in. I hope you enjoyed the bream fishing and I hope you enjoyed the tripping. It's inglorious. You know, pave the way for the better lay. He's always around wherever we are. Uh, I'll give you a glimpse of the fish that we caught, guys. That's the black bream and the scad. That's going to be used for pot bait. Now, these bream here, we're going to keep these. These are for Gran and the old man, so they're going to have a nice meal with black bream. So, yeah, it's a nice little day out there. So, if you like the channel, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more. We'll see you on the next one. It's inglorious fishing.